Let's talk about some of the most and biggest rebirth mistakes that I constantly see players making that are causing you to do the opposite of what we want to do, oh which is you are dying more me. and getting less kills. Now, today's going to be a little bit of a hybrid. We okay. are going to be Let's talking about here. the three Bunch biggest mistakes below. that I constantly see players make, and I'm going to be breaking down this gameplay as well. Now, I'm going to be totally honest with you. If you are looking to get better, you're in the right spot. I'm going to be showing you my deaths here as well. We're going to be talking about why I died. This is a game where I get 17 kills. I end up dying three times, so it's going to be a little bit of a tip video and a breakdown video. You know, the first thing that I constantly see with people and where people actually struggle Still is just not having a plan, not understanding what their goal is in terms of what the next move is. You know, when we play Rebirth, if you are looking to get more kills, you have to actively be trying to get more kills. What a lot of people do is they just kind of wander, they just kind of wait for things to happen, and then what happens is they get rolled up on by a sweat squad. They get two stacked and three stacked. You know, they're in a situation where they don't even, the they're getting floor. shot from people, Watch they Kelly. don't know where they are, where Kelly those enemies around. are. So the biggest mistake I that I see you. people make is not having a plan. They're wandering out in the Should open or they're sitting in one spot. You know, it goes both ways. Some of you just sit in one spot and you just kind of wait for, wait to see somebody. And then you're like, well, why am I only getting two kills? We got to put yourself in the action a little bit more. Or no some way. of you are just wandering out in the open, hoping to see somebody. And what ends up happening is you get I shot be before you even oh, know where anybody there. is. You know, the third thing here. that I do want to say in terms of just that first tip there. is I always get look at here. this game as you're either pushing somebody or you're going to end up getting pushed. You're either taking control of your game and starting to push teams and understand where teams are, or you're going to end up getting pushed by here. a team or somebody for, like me who is looking Enemy to drop high kill games, who is popping UAVs, who is These using the minimap to my in. advantage to understand they where people are based in. on shooting. And it's a tough. lot of that oh, is... Now, now. Just starting to take that initiative to want to get more kills, to put yourself in those situations. And that's how we fix that first problem of not having a plan. When you're early game, get your load out, and then really start to think about who should I go push? It could be anybody. You know, you don't necessarily have to always push the right people, but push somebody, push somewhere, find some information. Which kind of leads me to point number two, the minimap. Yes, very soon I am doing a video on how to hack your minimap. That's going to be the title of the video. How to use your minimap to your advantage. Look at that, right there with the MP40. This was pre-Warzone yep. update, by the way, but the MP40 Finally, is still game. really good. good uh, we don't have so minimap, and I kind of see two so things with people ahead. on the minimap. The this most is very common lobby. is going to be the push. fact I'm that you are not using your minimap at all. You have no awareness of like what is going on on your minimap. I mean, you are getting UAVs up, which is a huge really detriment because the UAVs give us information about where everybody is. And then it's about execution. I mean, if I told you that there is somebody right in front of you up and top. and you and all you have to do is go kill him, you would have more confidence in that gunfight, right? You would win that more times than not, especially when you have that information. That's what we're doing with UAVs. There was one the second more up top. thing I'm gonna grab this is bounty for cash flow. using, like, you're basically using enemy nine. shots. Now we're starting to see Vanguard guns obviously, shift a little bit towards silencers, but they're still not there yet. And Vanguard SMGs aren't there yet. So we're still dealing with a current state of rebirth where recoil boosters and non-silenced weapons are sort of the meta. So we're going to use that to our advantage. We're going to start to understand where people are. Let's talk about this situation right here. I know I'm getting shot from behind. There's a dot right here that's above me. I know that there is a person top prison. That is the information that you need to start to pay attention to on your minimap. And you don't necessarily have to then go push that guy, but at least know he's there and understand he's there. Why? Because you may then go to push to the roof and you have to be cognizant of that. You may be in a situation, you know, let's take living quarters, for example. You're on, you're in tents, you see shooting in living quarters, you need to know that there's people over there. You don't necessarily have to push them, but at least That's make note of it. The opposite of that people is people who use their minimap way too much. You are great with finding information, but you're so good let's at grab, finding that information on the minimap that push, you push, 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 get push, shot push. by the person who's actually right in front of you. So we need Whenever to be using a balance of both. We want to be getting information, trying to figure out where people are. But once we have that information and going back to point number right. one, you start pushing, then you get to a point where now you're starting to anticipate. Now you need to use the no. minimap less and start looking with your eyes a little bit more. We're going to self here real quick. We're going to pop a little stim. We're going to do a little dance on him. We're going to get the kill. Then we're going to get sniped in the back. Not much I can do there. I got caught a little bit out in the open, which is why I died there. Look, this is a, it's not even a blender game. This is actually a pretty good game. I think it was 17, like I said, and we end up getting the win. Where's this? Oh, he's in the, I didn't realize he, he just rolled up on us. It is what it is. I didn't now, realize he was there. I thought he was further back. A lot of you stare at the minimap, and you're lacking that anticipation of understanding where people are and understanding 
how to actually push them, right? We just want to put our crosshairs and be ready for people. And just note, as you progress, what I want you to work on, here's an actual concrete implement immediately takeaway. UAVs ping every three seconds. Today, every three uh, seconds. So you can start to time when you're looking at the minimap yes to understand where they're thing. rotating I have to say yes and to use that to your advantage. No now, that one other thing that uh, I do want to mention is after you get a kill, you, unless you know somebody is immediately chasing you, you need to check the minimap immediately. Like, no hesitation. Right there, I get it down. Let's see what the minimap shows. Okay, I know right here that I'm not in any immediate danger from that team. But say there's a guy right around this corner. Okay, well, now I know he's there and I can immediately go exactly. challenge that so we after you get a kill immediately i'm talking about almost as you're thirsting that person start to understand where those teammates are and it really gives you two pieces this of information tells you exactly where they are also tells you are they pushing you or are they pushing away oh from you which is probably more important as well as like how many there are that's where crucial as well because like two guys pushing away from you is wildly different than two is. players pushing towards you so we need to play those differently good shots there with the mp40 right Right? Where is he? Okay, down below, right around the corner. Got to be a little bit cognizant, but notice he's not moving, right? Pull that back for a second. Watch how, I, as I get the thirst, I see that he's down below, but notice he's not moving anywhere. So I know I'm at least okay for a second, and I'm going to go Let's ahead and start to reposition, start to I know he's push this person because I know he's down here. And this is where we talk about pushing or getting pushed, right? Now, I don't necessarily know exactly where he is. He definitely moved. He repositioned well, but... I'm ready to push that as soon as I can get back in the action. Now, the last thing that I want to tell you, and I think this I is one of the totally biggest things for my case. players that are struggling. 32 as of yesterday, yeah. You linger way too that? long. You take too long to loot. You take too long to loot after you get a kill. I, when I say looting, you're like opening a crate. You're stopping. You're like, do I want this gun or do I want this gun? Do I want a decoy or do I want a stun grenade? Oh, do I want a stim or step? Like, you're constantly that thinking about ready. what you want. Just, just keep rolling. Quick decisions, you loot way too, you linger way too long on crates, and that's when you end up getting killed because you're not paying attention to what's going on around you. You're thinking about, by the way, nothing I can do there, right? There's death number two. Not what much I can do. Doing? It is what it is. It's frustrating. He's just rocking with the rocket. Did I did I fast forward through this? I don't know if I did or not. That's literally the only way that guy can get a kill. That's literally the only, only way, way he kills me right there. Okay, so I did. Okay, so we're back in. Here we go. So, no loadout, guns down. By the way, we're flying back in. Watch this play with the Milano and the Diamati in a second. Real quick, if you are looking to get better, just consider hitting that subscribe button down below. I do videos every single day. Live streaming YouTube four days a week. I'm a 4KD player, just trying to help people get better. So, if you are looking to get better, just consider hitting that subscribe button down below. Turn that notification bell on if you want to know what I'm posting and going live. So, there's a pretty easy 1v2 situation. I get the first down. I immediately challenge the next one. There's one flying in above. So, going back to looting way too much. The other place that you linger too often is on buy station. You spend like 10 minutes trying, not 10 minutes, you spend like 10 seconds trying to buy stuff, and you're like, okay, I'm gonna buy a UAV, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy a self revive, and then I'm gonna buy another UAV. And by that time, like somebody's already over there starting to shoot you, and you're like, well, you know, I just wish I knew he was there. Buy a UAV, see who's around, and if you can go back on buy station, great. If not, then you're gonna know exactly where everybody is, and you can start to fight them. Don't be so to buy something that you completely avoid everything going everything else going on around you the last one which i briefly easy. mentioned is looting too much after a, a kill one, you're spending punch. way too much time you're susceptible to being third party you're su especially going back to vanguard Just weapons sometimes. being non-silenced you're susceptible to back. being third party you're uh, susceptible Milano to teammates coming and rolling up on you who are trying to stack you now you know all of those like situations it. could be avoided if you're just okay. looting a little bit quicker right loot loot satchel and i'm out like i'm gone i'm good i got what i need did i grab my stims no i don't even know if i had them but i'll run I with the heartbeat i got my throwing knives i got my mp40 i got the cooper carbine like we're good to go we are back in here so let's go ahead and break down the rest of this game 15 kills there's not much of it Enemy left but actually there is i if you saw my youtube shorts you actually kind of saw this the other day but i get one down i don't over push for the thirst here just because i know that there's a full team up here so i got to be careful i get the thirst there now notice the minimap remember when i talk about using the minimap to our advantage look exactly where these people are rotating to specifically this dot watch him rotate towards me right so now i'm i know exactly where he's gonna be I hit him with the Cooper Carbine. We quickly go get the Thirst there because I still have information that this one's over here. And we're going to hit him with a nice little bunny hop around the corner. I know exactly where he is. Little one, two, three. 
There's two shots right there. There's 18 kills, so it actually wasn't 17. Maybe it was 19. I don't know. I mean, Chad, I just don't know what else to say. I don't know. We got a few First teams left. Down. We still got... Second and we're playing with randoms easy. here, by the way. So just a lot of playing with randoms is going to be using information to your advantage, understanding where people are, trying to figure it out based on audio oh, cues. That was and you, when you're playing with randoms, because I, I know a lot of you do, the mini-map becomes increasingly From a point important. Nine to you one point really four, have to use go, those, those shots being fired to your advantage to start to understand where they are. Now, I'm going to go ahead and push left here. Big game bounty to our right. I'm going to die here again. To be honest, I get caught with a little bit of auto mantle. This wasn't exactly what I wanted to do. I, I would have preferred not to auto mantle here. I wanted to just jump right up. Right here. No. Not even the auto mantle, actually. I just got caught in a bad oh, I spot. I wanted to... I'm not even going to say that was an auto mantle no. problem. I just got caught. I didn't mean to jump down, but it is what it is. We're back. Oh, My teammate ends up buying me back after like a minute. I don't know. But we're back here, flying back in. Unfortunate situation for this guy right here because I have a Milano and I'm not afraid of anything because I have a Milano flying back in. So... I hope you found today's video helpful. Start to pay attention to if you're making those mistakes or not and start to work That's on those. I promise you, you'll start to get more kills, die a little less. I hope you found today's video helpful. As I would say, let's get better today and I will see you tomorrow.